Hill. Moderate Democrats are pushing their party to fight harder against rising prices in hopes of avoiding a trouncing in the midterms. The new Democrat coalition released a detailed action plan on inflation today. It's the largest voting bloc in the caucus and includes many vulnerable frontline members. Chairwoman Susan Del Benny told me voters are sick of gridlock and want to see results. Good policy is good politics. People want to see, um, want us to show them that governance is working and that we're focused on these issues and moving forward. Several of the proposals go beyond what the White House has been willing to commit to. Moderates want the administration to get rid of the tariffs on Chinese goods, even though some labor unions are reluctant to lift them. The group is also focused on nuts and bolts workforce issues, and it's calling on Congress to speed up passage of bills already in the pipeline that address supply chains, advanced manufacturing and competition. But moderates steered clear of measures that have divided their members, like cutting the federal gas tax. We've been very focused on getting bills all the way across the finish line to the president's desk. We know we don't help folks until we get bills through the House, through the Senate, and to the president's desk. And those margins are slim. In a letter to President Biden, the moderate said, fighting inflation requires an all-hands-on-deck strategy and urged the administration to take additional steps to bring down prices and focus on what it's calling an affordability agenda. They told me this should be job number one if Democrats want to keep their jobs when voters go to the polls in November. Shep. Elon, thanks.